My name is Noah Cohen. I'm a biological anthropology major. And uh, this poster looks at the evolution of investment in immatures in adult male Japanese macaques, otherwise known as Macaca fuscata. Um, I'd like to thank my mentor, Dr. Kylan Gartland and Dr. Francis J. White, um, including um, the Oregon National Primate Research Center for allowing us to collect data at their facility. So investment in immatures by adult males is uncommon in non-human primates. Um, in relatively infrequent situations, however, where care is directed toward non-kin juveniles, um, these behaviors have been examined within the context of the mating effort hypothesis or the alliance formation hypothesis. The mating effort hypothesis proposes that adult males direct care toward immatures to influence female mate choice, uh, while the alliance uh, formation hypothesis proposes that males direct affiliation toward immatures in order to establish potential future uh, coalitionary alliances. Uh, Juvenile-directed affiliation by adult males has, in fact, been uh, repeatedly observed in the Japanese macaque. Uh, however, the variables that influence um, degree and recipient choice of juvenile-directed affiliation are unknown. So, uh, in this study, we examined sex-based preferences in juvenile-directed affiliation by adult male semi-free-ranging Japanese macaques. Um, the objectives of the study include uh, determining the rate at which adult males direct affiliation toward juvenile males uh, versus juvenile females, and uh, assessing whether adult males demonstrate a juvenile sex preference when engaging in juvenile-directed positive affiliation. So the subjects of this study were 17 adult male Japanese macaques in a semi-free-ranging group at the Oregon National Primate Research Center in Beaverton. These males varied in age from 7 to 25 years, and individuals were independently identifiable by dye markings on their backs. Um, the photos that we have on this poster are actually Japanese macaques from this enclosure. So we collected a total of 512.5 hours of uh, behavioral data. Um, the data collection spanned two distinctly uh, different study periods, so one from June to September in 2018 and another from July to September in 2019. So we examined the sociality data and identified eight of the 17 study males uh, which were observed directing affiliation toward a juvenile. So for these eight males, um, we calculated the rate of affiliation directed toward male juveniles and the rate of affiliation directed toward female juveniles. So we found that males four, five, and six fit the expected sex ratio and therefore do not demonstrate juvenile sex preference. However, males um, one, two, and seven demonstrate female juvenile preference while males three and eight demonstrate male juvenile preference. And we also found um, as you can see in table one, that there is uh, significant heterogeneity indicating that adult males differ from one another. So um, five of the males did in fact show sex-based preferences in their juvenile social partner. Um, these results, in addition to the observed significant heterogeneity among the males, indicates that the sex of the juvenile is in fact a um, determining factor in male-directed affiliation. Um, these results are preliminary, however, they do provide insight into um, the factors that guide male juvenile directed affiliation. Um, however, future studies should examine further influencing variables such as, you know, male rank, age, reproductive success as a means of testing, whether sex-based preferences conforms to either the alliance formation hypothesis or the mating effort hypothesis. Thank you.